going on y'all it's your girl telly welcome back to my channel television 87 what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel television 87 what's going on y'all welcome back to my channel television 87 make sure y'all like comment and subscribe appreciate y'all for watching and supporting YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. You got it locked to Television 87. You're hanging out with your girl Telly right now. I'm back with another video for you guys. If you are new to my channel, just stopping by for the first time, do me a favor. Hit me with that like, that thumbs up button, okay? To make sure to smash that subscribe button for me. Coming at you today with a throwback video. And this is one of the first videos I ever did on YouTube. And it was talking about none other than the whole bonnet situation. And it was back in 2013. And it's only become more and more of something that's just always talked about. So I did like um, top five places you're most likely to see a woman outside, you know, her house with a bonnet. It was a spoof. It's comedy. It's an all good fun. If y'all want to step out of the house, you know what I'm saying, with the bonnet, hey, to each his own. I personally do not care for it, but it is what it is I, i'm not in charge of anybody else's life y'all do what y'all do but anyway it was a spoof you know what i'm saying back then so do me a favor check it out laugh have a sense of humor um and one thing about this video it's a lot of like shaking going on is because my mom was holding the camera and her hand really wasn't steady i didn't have anything to put it on or anything back then I just did it on a whim so you're gonna see the camera kind of moving around a lot and then us also laughing in the middle of it um one and yeah so that was a lot of fun one of the like I said one of the first videos I ever uploaded to my YouTube channel so I hope you guys enjoy it once again do me a favor hit me with that like that thumbs up button all right and smash that subscribe button for me drop your comments down below all right Say no to bonnets. I, I'll be back with another video for y'all soon. Until then, peace. Enjoy the video. Hey, everybody. This is Telly. I'm back here doing another video. Um, It's a part two of the bonnet video. I did part one a couple weeks ago. So I want to thank everybody who watched that video. You can go to my YouTube channel. It's Television 87 That's Telly, T-E-L-L-I, Vision 87, to check out all of the videos that I've done, um, which is only one video, so just check out the one video. But anyway, this is a another video that I'm doing backed by popular demand. It's the top five places you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap outside of your house. Now, as I've said before, the bonnet... It, it's starting to become a movement. Now, I don't know where it came from, but over the past couple of years, I've seen it more and more. These females, they're leaving their houses with these bonnets on their heads. They're not combing their hair, and they're just going out to do all kinds of different things, just looking a hot mess. So today, I want to show everybody out there what not to do um, when you're you know, when you want to leave your house, this is what not to do. I'm going to show you what you can do instead of wearing the bonnet. But these are the top five places you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap. Now, for those of you who don't know, a bonnet is a, a type of sleepwear. Now, you can, well, this is what it looks like. You can wear the bonnet to go to sleep. And I keep saying slash shower cap because it's kind of like a dual, um, a dual use. You can go to sleep in it or wrap your hair in it and you can also use it while you're in the shower to keep your hair from getting wet. But I'm going to put this on just to show you what it looks like. <clears throat> this, this is what it looks like. This is what the bonnet looks like, ladies. Now you don't want to step out of your house wearing this bonnet. Imagine you're, you know, you're around the house doing your cleaning up that's fine, but once you step out of the house, once you go past your front yard, if you're not taking out the trash, if you're not doing something with your car, if you're just, you know, you want to go up the street real quick to visit a friend or do something, you need to comb your hair. And I also have a sign that I want to, you know, to showcase to everybody. This, 
is to say no to Bonatine. This is to say no to Bonatine. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't ever want to leave your house wearing a bonnet because it doesn't look good. I don't want to look at it. The other people don't want to look at it. No one wants to look at you with the bonnet on your head. So, you know, take this very seriously. I want you guys to take this seriously. If you know somebody who's done this, who's a repeat bonnet offender, you need to pass this on. You need to tell them this is not going to work in 2014 or the rest of 2013 ever again. It's not going to work. <clears throat> so these are the top five places you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap. The number five place is at the park. Now, I've seen a lot of females are going to get their exercise on. You see how crazy I look? I'm running. This is how females look. <laughs> running around the park. They've got their exercise attire on. Now, it's great that they're trying to be healthy and everything, but this is what you look like. I'm driving in my car. This is what I see from, from the side. I don't want to see any of that. I'm going to turn back around. I don't want to see any of that while I'm driving down 135th and I'll see you at the park. I don't want to see that. So it's great that you're trying to be fit and everything, but you can use, you can use a comb and a brush and you can comb your hair. Now I'm going to take this bonnet off just for a second just so you can see. <clears throat> now, you can you know, take the comb, you can brush it, brush your hair just a little bit, you can do whatever you need to do, but the comb and brush, they are your friends. This is a very necessary tool that you need to use every day before you step out of your house instead of this, ladies. You don't want to do that. Okay, that's the number five place that I see now. The number four place you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap is any place that's on 7th Avenue. Now, this is in Miami that we're talking about here. Any place on 7th Avenue, I've gotten in my car. As soon as I hit 135th Street, then bam, I've seen a lady in a bonnet and I've seen her sitting at the bus stop. I'm not sure where she's trying to go, what she's trying to do, but it's it's not working for me. I'm in my car, you know what I'm saying? I'm at the red light, and then I look over, and bam, I see a lady in the bonnet. Ladies, don't act like you haven't seen it before because I know you have. You don't want to be at the red light looking around, and then you got a bonnet on each side of you. That's not cool. That's not what we want to do, ladies. So please be sure <laughs> that before you step outside of your house, before you get in that car to go wherever it is that you're trying to go, make sure that you comb your hair. <laughs> and that is the number four spot place that you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap. Now, if you get into the real hood, hood areas of Miami, it doesn't get any better. It gets worse. It just goes downhill from there. So they really need to take, when you're in the hood, you're really going to see people in their bonnets who just, they don't care. They just do whatever it is that they want to do. So that's the number four place. Okay. Now, the number three place that you're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap is at the laundry mat. Now, I understand you want to go wash your clothes. It could be really early in the morning or it could be really late at night. But either, you know, either or, it's still a public place and you still want to be able to look presentable no matter if it's 6 p.m., 6 a.m., midnight, whatever time of day it is, you want to make sure you look presentable. You don't want your clothes in the spin cycle and the wash house, and then you're sitting in your car looking a hot mess with the bonnet on your head. I was at the laundromat about, about a month ago, and I saw this lady. Not only did she have on a bonnet, she also had on a house dress. Now, I don't have a house dress that I could put on to show you what she looked like, but if you could only imagine, she had on the bonnet. <laughs> she had on the bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> she also had on a house coat. That's not 
that's that's not going to work. I mean, lady, I understand I feel so bad because she was an older lady. You know, sometimes the older lady, you just let them get away with stuff because they're older. But no, in this circumstance, no. Somebody should have went up to that lady and told her, man, you need to go back in your car. You need to go back in your house and you need to comb your hair. When you come back out, you need to not have this bonnet on because we don't want to do that. So now that I've... I've you know, told you a few places where you're most likely to see this common but disturbing occurrence. I'm going to show you guys some of the replacements that you could do instead of this because this is not cool. Now, that's a bonnet. You could put on a hat. Ladies, you can put on a hat. You see how easy and convenient it is? You can put on a hat. Now, you can wear it this way, you can wear it sideways, backwards, however you want to wear it, you can put on the hat. You can also put on a bandana, which I think is kind of cute. Now, I have a black, but you can make it colorful and pretty and do whatever you want to do. You can tie it around, and then you can go, and you can do whatever you want to do with that. That looks a whole lot better than a bonnet. Any <coughs> Anything looks better than that bonnet. Now, you could also put on a wig. Wait a minute. Let me get myself together here. Let me just flip this on for you guys. And I'm going to put it back. And then I'm going to look. And ladies, you can see when you put on the wig that you can comb it. You can style it. You can do anything that you need to do But a wig. Anything looks better than that bonnet. Now, of course, you know, you can do whatever you want, make it look fancy. Hey, you could even put this bandana back on top of the wig. <laughs> there you go. Man, that doesn't look that bad, right? Anything looks better than this bonnet, okay? And also have one more thing. Wait a minute, let me take this off real quick. Put that to the side. This is the bun. Now, you can do the bun, like I said before, with the comb in the back. You see that comb in there? You can just clip it on the back like that. It's going to kind of sort of look something like this. You can do that. Anything looks better than this bonnet. Now, <laughs> we're going to go again. The sign. Say no to bonnets. Just say no to bonnets. Now, we're going to get back to this countdown here. I left off at number three, but now we're going to go to the number two place. You're most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet <clears throat> slash shower cap. I'm going to put the bonnet back on because I just want to reiterate how ridiculous this looks. Ladies, you don't want to step out of your house with this bonnet on. Now, the number two place is any kind of public transportation. Now, that could mean lovely Miami Day Transit. It could be a taxi, it could be a jitney, a metro rail, a tri rail, any type of public transportation. You don't want to be seen out in the streets wearing this bonnet. You know why? Buses break down, cabs break down, jitneys break down, and then you'll be stuck out in the street looking crazy because you decided that you didn't want to use these two on any particular day. You don't want to be stuck doing that. Now, people have cell phones nowadays. They can go and videotape anything. Now, see, I decided that I want to be on YouTube in my bonnet, but this is by choice. I'm trying to lead by example here. I'm trying to show you what not to do, but there are some people out there who will end up in their uh, bonnets on YouTube because they decided not to use comb and brush on any particular day. <clears throat> I just have to pause for a second because this is just, it's getting out of hand. So like I said before, I need everybody to kind of pass this video along and to show repeat offenders to tell them that they should not step outside their house with a bonnet slash shower cap. And now the number one place that you are most likely to see a female wear a bonnet slash shower cap is the grocery store. Now this could be anywhere you shop. It could be a family dollar, convenience store, whatever place it is that you shop. Ladies, I know that you've seen other women, you know, you're pushing your car, you're putting your food in your car and whatnot, and then you're walking around the grocery store looking like this. We don't want to see that. We don't want to see you pushing the car, you know, with your food in it, with your bonnet, looking a hot mess. Because 
you know, Thanksgiving just passed, for example, it was long lines, and then you're standing in the grocery store with your bonnet longer than necessary, because, you know, you could go to the self-checkout, and then the self-checkout cannot work, and then you got to flag the attendant over, hey, attendant, can you come help me with the self-checkout, and then you're standing there waving the attendant down in your bonnet. Not cool, ladies. Not cool at all. So, those are the top five places you are most likely to see a female wearing a bonnet slash shower cap. I want everybody to take something from this, learn something from this, pass it on. This bonnet here, this bonnet epidemic, it's not okay. We've got to put a stop to it. Say no to the bonnet. I want you to study it. I want you to live by it. I want you to, to eat, sleep, and breathe. No bonnets. No bonnet movements. We want to see that going all around. we got to put a stop to this. So I want to thank everybody for watching. And once again, pass this on to anybody, any repeat offenders, <clears throat> and tell them that wearing the bonnet is not okay. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll be back very soon with another video for you guys. Until then, take care, and 